The Cincinnati Zoo has long been known for work with rhinos, especially black rhinos. It's the only animal that's ever been on our logo. I'm here with Marge Barthel, who's a rhino keeper, and she knows our black rhinos best, and I guess it's an exciting time for our program. It really is. Um, as of yesterday, we uh, announced that our female black rhino, Saya, is pregnant. Um, she's in the early stages of pregnancy, so we have a long wait, but it'll be well worth it, I well, think. Well, like 15 so, months, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, so June, July next summer. Okay. So exciting. That's exciting, though, and we have a long history with rhino birth, right? We do. Um, it's been years, though, since we've had yeah, a black rhino calf. Yeah, 1999. Yes, so it has been a long time, so this is pretty exciting for us and the zoo. Um, our proud father up there came up last year from Atlanta, if everybody yeah. remembers. And, Faru. Um, and yes, Faru, and he's doing great, um, and they obviously paired up well. So. Yeah, so he's 12 yeah. years old, and he's yes. had a calf before. Yes, he good. sired one baby um, down in Atlanta. That's yep. always good, so he's yes. a proven breeder now. But how about Saya, the mom? She is a first-time mother. Okay. She's, uh, she'll be seven yeah. at the end of the month. Uh, she came from Baton Rouge, so yeah, she'll be a first-time mom, and yeah. so pretty exciting. That's neat. Yeah. Okay, so what everybody wonders and I wonder is, you work with the rhinos every day, but how do you know when she's pregnant? Well, she definitely showed behavioral changes. Okay. Uh, she was housed with our male. Uh, they got together, or got along very well through the entire time, um, bred a few times, but then we noticed a change. She didn't want him around. Um, okay. It was pretty evident yeah. she didn't want him around yeah. anymore. So uh, hormonally, things kicked in and, and told her naturally, you know, it's time for you to get out of my space. <laughs> yeah. Now, Marge, if successful, this will be our 17th black rhino born here at the zoo. So yes. that's neat. In fact, yes. like we're leading. Right. But they're in trouble in the wild. They are. They are. Yeah. Um, habitat loss, uh, but bigger than that, uh, poaching for yeah. their horns. Yeah. Uh, some cultures believe that those uh, horns ground down um, can medically mm -hmm. um, help different uh, medical conditions, which in fact is not true. Right. Um, but it's, it's quite a challenge. Uh, we actually do uh, rhino Rembrandt paintings here, yeah. Yeah. say a paints, um, and we sell those so we can put together our own contribution toward uh, rhino conservation. Yeah. So we do that every year. And the Cincinnati Zoo is involved with a wide variety of rhino conservation programs, partnering with the International Rhino Foundation and other groups that are working in Africa and Asia to protect these critically endangered species.